Hey, what's up guys? Steven of Salon Guy here. Uh, the reason I'm laughing, my new studio is in a crazy, crazy town. It's like a hardcore downtown, a college area. It's part like ghetto, part upscale. But <laughs> I just heard some dude on a megaphone screaming, like <laughs> out of nowhere, so totally random. But today's video is going to be hopefully helpful to you guys because I get a lot of questions on what do I tell my barber, or what do I tell my stylist. I need to know some terms that I can use when I'm going in for my haircut appointment. So today I'm gonna to break down how you can make your haircut experience a lot more enjoyable and also more accurate. So one of the biggest questions I get is what do I ask my barber, what do I tell my hairstylist? Well, you guys all have something that can be really helpful and you don't even realize it. It's right at your fingertips. It's a cell phone, all right? So here I've got a picture of um, Lucky Blue Smith, and what you need to do is find out that specific cut you want, that look that you want, and bring in the photograph. If there's a haircut video that I've done, take a screenshot of that video or of that, that specific look you want and just simply bring it in and say, this is what I'm looking for. I can't do anything, I can't really be there to cut it, I can't guarantee how it's gonna come out, if it's gonna look like the picture or not, who knows, but at least you give them some direction and you show them what you want, now it's up to them to execute it. So find on Google or gettyimages.com and just look for photos, bring it in and say this is the kind of look that I want. So another question I get is, what are some of the terms that I need to use when going in for my haircut? So for example, if your hair is really, really thick, you need to have some of the weight removed. So simply you say, I need my hair thinned out, I need some weight removed. Now, not necessarily your whole head, just in the areas that are really heavy and really thick. I know it's kind of a cliche, a bald guy talking about thick hair, <laughs> but I know hair, I've been in this business for 22 years. So if your hair is really thick, just say, I need my hair thinned out and show them the areas. It gets really heavy here, it gets really heavy here. Just, just kind of verbalize with them where exactly it is because they can thin out your whole head and all of a sudden your hair is way too thin and they've overdone it. So just kind of really visualize where the problem area is. A lot of you guys say, hey, if I bring in a video and show it to my stylist, especially one of your videos, are they gonna get mad? Well, you know, if somebody brought in a video and showed me as a professional stylist, I would say like, well, let me know what you want and I can figure it out, I can sort it out because of my experience. You know, don't be afraid to bring it in. I would say take a picture first and simply show them the look if you specifically want that look because no one's gonna really sit there and watch a whole video the whole time before the appointment. That could take 10 to 15 minutes alone. So even if there's like a screenshot you could take of the video and show them, say this is what I want, that's a good option to do. When it comes to some women's haircuts, you wanna use words like layering, you want good movement, you want it all to blend in nicely. A lot of times when you have a fringe or bangs, sometimes you ladies, you can have it connected, which means it goes down and blends in completely. So usually a longer sweeping fringe that comes across, it's a connected bang, which means it goes all the way and blends into your length. Or you could have a separate bang, which means it's completely disconnected, completely its own separate thing, and then it isn't blended in, in through here. So it's basically here, and then the rest of the hair is long. So if your hair is really, really heavy, and it just hangs straight down, doesn't do anything, you need to ask for layers. Layers basically removes that weight from your hair and gives it the flexibility that you need in order to style it and also kind of shake it around and have a little more freedom with it. Also, it's really good if you want to use rollers or curling irons and stuff to add those nice, sexy, modern waves. If you're kind of lost, whether you're male or female, and you don't know what to do when you go in, the best thing is to say, okay, as a professional, I need your opinion. Tell me what's going to look best on me. What do you think? What's modern? What's sexy? What's unique? You know, what's edgy, what's masculine, what's you know, gonna really enhance my features and make me, the client, look amazing. Be very descriptive if you've had a bad haircut in the past. Let them know your trouble areas, your problem areas. If your hair is too flat in certain areas, it's too heavy, you feel it's too long, you feel you know, you've got a, a, something on this side that needs to be worked on, just express to them your problems and your concerns and they, as the professionals, hopefully, because there's definitely some interesting talent a wide variety of talent. As you viewers know, you've gotten some butchered haircuts in the past. Just really verbalize your problem areas, your goals, say you want the hair longer on top and really short underneath. You want to have you know, uh, long layers, you want it to be really smooth and sexy, you want to have volume to it, you want short and PC and spiky. Just be very, very descriptive 
in your end result and what you're looking for. And last but not least, how do you choose a new stylist or a new barber? You've been going to your person for quite some time. They keep jacking up your hair. You've got a full head of hair and you end up looking like me in the end, which could be a problem. Maybe it's time to leave and move on to a new person. The best thing to do is go onto the internet, whether it's Google, look up the hair salon website, uh, search for hair salons in your town, and then research the reviews on either the individual stylists, the barbers, the salon itself, and give them a call saying, do you have any talent or any stylist that actually can do really modern looks? And tell them you don't want someone who really does mostly say an older clientele. You want someone who really specializes in what you're looking for. You can't just call up and say, yeah, I want to make an appointment because some of these receptionists have no idea what they're talking about. They're on another planet sometimes and they'll book you with someone who might not be necessarily a good match for you. So it's up to you to say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a stylist like this. I'm looking for a stylist who specializes in short hair, long hair, modern looks, modern trends, and say, I don't want you to give me somebody who happens to be free. I want you to give me somebody, I don't care if I have to wait, but I want that specific person who has that same special unique uh, gift and, and uh, talent that I'm looking for, for my own hair. So that's pretty much it. I really hope this helped you guys because I get a lot of questions about this. Sorry it wasn't a tutorial, but uh, I, I hope that I helped one of you guys out there. So thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon with a salon guy. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means a lot to me. Don't forget to like, leave comments, and also subscribe. So as you can see here, I've got celebrity interviews, I've got event coverage, and also more tutorials. So don't forget to subscribe and keep watching.